Sabaha everybody and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to do a speed charging test on the brand new OnePlus 7T. Uh, this device definitely has a lot of cool things going on for it, but one of the main features they talked about was the fact that we can charge it from zero to 70% in 30 minutes. So we'll see some of those optimizations that they did here and as well as it, does it actually charge faster than the Warp Charge 30? This is TK, let's check it out. Like and subscribe and make sure you hit that bell icon so that you're always notified whenever we have new videos on the channel. And then of course, make sure you check out that coupon in the description below to save yourself some dollars whenever you order using that coupon from OnePlus. Here we have the brand new OnePlus 7T. Uh, as you can see, the battery is literally about 1%. The device is about to die. Uh, and what I have on the right side here is the charger and the cable that came in the box. Now, the charger itself still says Warp Charge 30, but the reason why we're getting the 30T or the 23% additional or faster charging is because of some of the optimizations that was done on the device with the battery that we have here. So the benefits that we're getting here are pretty much only going to be available on the T line of devices. So it's going to be a forward kind of thing. Unfortunately, no backwards compatibility. But again, we're promised about 23% faster than the standard Warp Charge 30. So again, 70% in 30 minutes is the goal. And then we'll see how long it goes for it to actually reach 100%. Uh, let me go ahead and set up everything. And just as a heads up, this is the carbon fiber case that came with the reviewer's guide. If you'd like to check that out, there'll be a link in the description below to see some of the other cases they included for us in that box. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I am going to plug the device in. Uh, just as a heads up, again, the battery is basically, the device is going to just shut down. This is basically what it's telling me. Let me go ahead and unlock it. I do have it on airplane mode, but I do understand a lot of us really always want to know exactly how it's going to charge. So I am going to turn off airplane mode. I'm going to start the timer and of course, start the charging. Uh, the main thing, of course, during out throughout this thing is I'm also going to be checking out the thermals on this and see how hot do we get? Do we actually go over hundred or do we stay within cool uh, temperatures as they were recommending us? So let's go ahead and take off airplane mode. We could see right there, charging has started. Let's turn off the display, turn it back on. Right there, 1% at warp charging, and we have started.
65, it had 94. So I would say audio. So there we have it, uh, basically 100% in about an hour and about 70% at about 30 minutes as they promised. So as, so the main consensus here obviously is that this is definitely doing a lot of the heavy lifting. <clears throat> so the main, <clears throat> now as you saw, we started off with a 1% battery and I left the services on. I didn't actually keep it on airplane mode, I didn't turn it off. So with 1% and the device actually telling me it's about to shut down, uh, we started the charge and we were able to hit basically 12% in five minutes, 24% in 10 minutes, or we were starting to double up numbers. 48% at 20 minutes is like we're really going very fast. Unfortunately, the thermals kind of match the same situation. We hit about 100 to 101 at the maximum uh, when we were basically seeing how hot the device got. Uh, now at 30 minutes, we hit 69%. That's about 70%. I would basically give it to an error, basically a margin of error there. So basically they were able to get us up to 70% in about 30 minutes from almost a dead battery. Uh, and of course, after right after that point, that's basically where the speed kind of slowed down as well as the thermal started to drop. So when we went to 45 minutes, we were around 89% and that it was basically at around 93 degrees. Uh, and again, of course, when we got to 50 minutes, it was around 92 and then 55 minutes, we got to 94%. And then just about that one hour mark, we hit 100%. Uh, but the thermals at that point kind of dropped around 90% or 90 degrees, which is pretty much normal when you're charging your device. So very nice and very very fast charging on the brand new oneplus 7t line of devices so keep in mind that the warp charge 30t factor that t factor is pretty much based on the device not necessarily on the charger as the cable and the brake that we have here are pretty much the same one as the oneplus 7 uh, pro uh, i'm not sure if the oneplus 7 i don't think the oneplus 7 came with the warp charge 30 but the main benefit of course is that we now have a better a better optimizations on the battery on the device for us to be able to charge at a much faster rate uh, keeping in mind that obviously the thermal is not 100 is not super super hot but it's definitely up there and it does actually gradually go down again once it crosses that threshold which i feel like this is where it's programmed uh, but unfortunately that also means that we can't bring any of these fast speeds to the earlier generation of oneplus 7 devices so the 7 and the 7 pro won't have this but the 7t and the 7t pro will obviously have that and obviously future generations should be able to benefit from it um, i really like this i'm definitely very happy that it's included in the box i was a little bit worried when i didn't see that nomen uh, nomenclature on the actual brick but again it's basically optimized on the actual device like and subscribe as usual let me know what you guys think in the comments below thank you very much for the support and I'll see you guys in the next video.